For the fixation slide, according to the plan, cross screws with compression on each column and neutralization plates will be used in this case. Open your browser, Digital Look, or any source for an image of the implant you want to use. Once you have chosen the desired image, just copy and paste it on your slide. Then, crop the implant image to the desired implant and use the same background removal tool to clean the image. You can also use the color tool on the upper toolbar to change implant color to blue, which is the standard color for implants. Then, resize the implant according to its real dimensions by calibrating the ruler you used before to calibrate the x-rays. Then, take the implant image and drop it on the desired position. As not all the implant images can be found on the desired size, manual lengthening or shortening of the implant is possible by just copy-pasting the calibrated image and overlapping images on the variable segment. When a lengthened implant wants to be repositioned, you can group the images to move it as one. You can also use the transparency tool in the upper side to show different layers for different implants. That way, all the implants can be seen through each other and images won't overlap. One of the advantages of this preoperative planning is that you can use any implant you want on the real size as all the templates and images can be found on the internet and you're not limited to templates available only in a specific software or only available in physical medium on your hospital. We can see on implant vouchers the size specifications and available lengths to be used on the ruler for calibration of the implants. Here we will speed up the process to save some time. You can play with perspective to give impression of bending some implants, which can be copied, cropped and repositioned with the desired angulation. You can also show the direction that wants to be given to some polyaxial or oblique directed screws with some perspective on both projections. Although you can do a very precise preoperative planning, it is also possible to make conceptual planning in which no calibration is needed but Adjust it just manually and according to your experience. The final result shall be the ideal result in surgery if conditions are met. With this final image of your planning, you will have printed in your memory the fracture pattern and will be able to finish the planning by stating the order of fixation, adding numbers to every implant, transforming it into a step by step procedure. Once the final fixation image is made, you can use it to make an estimation of the materials and implants that has to be checked available before surgery and avoid intraoperative complications related to lack of implant, making you even change the plan in some situations in which there is not enough materials. If calibration was used, then size of the implant can be estimated and listed. You can add to the list materials necessary for temporary reduction and another materials needed for surgery itself.